Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I filmed anything. Uh, basically, I've just fell off the bandwagon. Uh, I've just, I've, the last couple of weeks I feel like I've been so busy, I've had a lot going on, it's been quite hard just to sit down and actually film anything, but I've had that many ideas for videos, I just haven't had the time to sit and actually do any of them. So, today, Let's just take the bobble off the wrist because that's not pretty for anyone. Goodbye. So today I am going to be filming a misguided haul. So let's just get into the video, shall we? Let's just jump right in. So, first up whoop, is, so this is the premium uh, boyfriend roll neck jumper. So I bought this in a size 10 to 12 because I like it to have a bit more room. I am a size 8 but I like it a bit oversized. So yeah, this is it. It's really hard to show you on camera but yeah, as I said, it's roll neck. The material of these, so they're pre misguided premium boyfriend jumpers I really, really love. Um, I just feel like the quality of them, I, I know I bought one of them uh, from there last year. Um, and this is just my favourite one. I've already wore it in so many Instagram posts. It's just one of those jumpers that you can throw on with just absolutely anything. You know, just black jeans for an all black outfit. Put a coat on over it, it looks really nice. I've wore this on my Instagram with some black leather shorts before, which I thought looked really, really nice. Um, and yeah, I just think it, it's a really good sort of staple jumper. If you're looking for a good sort of capsule wardrobe or good basics to have, I think this, these, you know, the boyfriend jumpers from Misguided are really, really good. I really recommend them. And um, because I love those boyfriend jumpers so much, let's move it out the way. Goodbye. And um, because I loved it that much, I got it in camel as well. So it's exactly the same. But yeah, I got this in a size 10 to 12 as well. Again, I just, I love the fit of it. I love the feel of it. It's really, really good quality. And I think these are only 25 quid. So... 25 quid for a really decent jumper and this will last you as well i've washed um my, my one from last year is actually still fine um and it's been washed a billion times and it's stayed really really well so i bought this jumper in mind actually because i had an outfit in mind for it so um i've got a shirt dress as well from misguided that i will be showing you a bit later on but I wanted to wear this over a shirt dress so that, you know, for like those days, um, you know, you might be going out for day drinks, out for brunch, that sort of thing. You know, I feel like this time of year, there's a lot of sort of day occasions or day outings, like more so than any other time of year. You know, everyone seems to be out around Christmas markets, going for drinks, going for meals. Everyone's got relatives around. But yeah, I thought with this, shirt dress underneath, black fedora hat, black boots, black bag. It would just make a really nice outfit, but then again, if that's not your thing, you could easily just chuck on this with some jeans. This would look really nice with blue jeans as well, as well as black jeans. Um, and yeah, again, really good staple to have. Good neutral colour, it's never gonna go out of fashion. You know, if you want this in your wardrobe, you can just wear it year on year on year. So that's that one. Next up, this short hair formal coat. I really, really like this. It's kind of like, um, I don't know how to describe, I don't actually know how to describe the sort of material of this. Let me just see what it's made out of. What does it say? If soiled, try washing at 30. Right, so if you pee your pants in it, wash this at 30, guys. Top tip there. Try not to pee yourself wearing this. Yeah, I'm not overly sure on what the material is. Sauce, but it's just called a short hair formal coat. So that's what it's called. That's what I'll call it. But yeah, I just thought this, for when you want to look like you've you know made a nice effort. And the, by the way, I wore this um, to when I was trying this on in the trying videos. This is so warm. It's lined inside as well. And I just think this over an all black outfit. So maybe with that black uh, boyfriend jumper black jeans this would just look so nice and just sort of dress it up it's kind of it's a really good length on me as well i'm five foot eight and this sits 
really really nicely and i just feel like it, if you put this over any outfit it just makes you look a bit more put together and you know a bit more like you've made a bit more of an effort right next up is some jeans some blue jeans what have we got these are called the riot high-waisted open knee light blue jeans these i got in a size eight so my normal size I love the colour of these. They're a prop. They're a real sort of washed out blue. I feel like the colour of your jeans can sort of determine how expensive and how cheap they look. And these are that really nice sort of pale denim that look a lot more expensive than they are. Um, so yeah, these are in eight regular. So they are like a mom jean, but I will say they're not as um, sort of baggy fitting as some mom jeans that I've got. Um, which I do actually like and um, not just that these ones are a bit different because I have got just this rip in sort of like the thigh so I know a lot of ripped jeans have rips sort of you know at the knees or sort of all going down I just like these are a bit different they've just got the one rip here just makes them stand out a bit and you know I know you might think it's a bit impractical this time of year it's freezing cold what are you doing why are you buying jeans with rips in but if any part of my body is going to be cold, I don't mind three inches of my thigh being cold. That doesn't bother me. And plus, if you've got, if you're sensible and have a long coat, which you should in winter, you're covered up there anyway. So don't judge me for buying ripped jeans at this time of year. I like them. All right. So yeah, love these. I thought these with any of the jumpers that I've shown, you know, black jumper, camel jumper would look really, really nice. I think. Everyone needs a good pair of just blue mom jeans, especially this time of year. Mom jeans are a bit more forgiving, so if you're going out, eating a lot, going to have a bit of a bloat on, mom jeans are just a bit more forgiving than a skinny jean. So, yeah, blue mom jeans, really, really like them. Um, everything that I'm showing you, by the way, I am going to link in the description box below. Probably should have checked before I started filming the video, the prices of things, but I didn't because I'm so unorganised. Sorry, 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 going to put it all on screen. Don't hate me those are my jeans next up i'm sorry this might be really really boring but it's something everyone needs everyone needs good basic bodysuits especially in winter like it's just it's not um it's not even a bodysuit why did i say it's a bodysuit it's a top it's a basic top everyone needs basic tops in winter so it's just a plain white it is ribbed long sleeved crew neck top you know if you're the kind of person that likes to spend their money more so on nice coats jackets that sort of thing you're not too bothered what you've got underneath then just get some really good basic tops and i really do like the misguided ones i feel like the quality of them is so nice they're not see-through and um, you can i actually tried this when i tried this on i actually had a green bra on with it which obviously i wouldn't wear a green bra with it a green bra green bar bra bra bar bra did i say bar obviously i wouldn't wear a green bra with it if i was going out but when i was just trying it on i did and it actually looked okay like you could i could have easily got away with it um but yeah we'll recommend that just stick on a white bra or a nude bra um but no really really good basic top i got this in a size eight i do recommend staying true to your size um and then yeah i thought you could wear these with jeans shorts uh nice leather look trousers you could wear these with i think it's just it's something good to have so that you can throw coats on just over the top okay next up i do have another coat when i saw this on the website i i couldn't leave it i just thought yes need this in my life so this it, it i can't even show you the entire thing on camera because it's that blooming big but yeah it's a big tan colour teddy coat um it comes down on me to sort of like calf length um it's very very thick and at the back there's sort of this detailing so i um when i first saw this on um online i thought this was actually a belt that you know wrapped around almost like a sort of dressing gown type thing um but it's not it's actually like just for show so it starts and ends at the back so you can see it just goes into nothing it's just stitched to the back of the coat um and at first i didn't know if i actually liked that because i thought 
I was kind of looking forward just to tying my big teddy coat up but it's grown on me now and after trying it on I actually really like it it looks really really different but yeah this honestly is probably one of the warmest coats I own it is so so thick such a good quality and one of those coats you could literally chuck on with anything um, I have a white kind of like co-ord uh, jumper and trousers um, that I bought really just to lounge around the house in but I thought if you just throw on this with it you, that is literally the comfiest outfit ever but again you could wear this with the blue jeans that I showed you earlier um, and also the white bodysuit and I think that would make a really nice daytime outfit as well really casual really really comfortable most importantly though really really warm at this time of year so yeah teddy coat so just mentioned the white uh jumper co-ord thing to wear with the uh teddy coat so i'll show you the jumper part first it's not white it's sort of uh, just off white sort of more of a cream you can see this is well you can see the walls white and this has a bit more of a yellowy creamy hue to it um, so yeah, it's just a roll neck jumper. So I bought this in a small, which I think sort of is around about a size 8 to 10. Um, but yeah, the jumper is slightly oversized. And I will say it is ever so it, ever so slightly um, more see-through than I'd usually like. But as I said, I bought this originally with uh, sort of lounging around the house in mind. Um, I think when you when you work from home, it's so easy to fall into the trap of staying in your pajamas every day, sitting at your computer. And then honestly, the amount of times I've gone downstairs to the postman, it's all or nothing. If I'm filming or if I'm taking photos, I'll answer the door in a full face makeup and whatever I'm wearing for that day. And the next day he comes around and I've got my Bambi pajamas on and no makeup, and I look like I. I'm ill with the plague like it, there's just no in between so I just thought right I need to get my life together and stop just wearing pajamas when I'm at home all day so I thought if I buy some nice loungewear sets it might make me I don't know look look like I'm an adult and I've got my life together so if I have to answer the door I don't look like some teenager whose parents have left them at home for the week which I feel like that's what I look like every time I go to the door. So yeah, I thought I'll be an adult, you know, buy a loungewear set, life is all in order and sorted, obviously, and that's the impression I aim to give off. So that's why, we, that's why we're doing this. So yeah, that's the jumper. And then the bottom half, nice stretchy waistband, dead, dead comfy sort of wide leg trouser, really nice material. Um, as I said, yeah, ever so slightly see-through. Um, so I wouldn't go out of the house just wearing this. This is for just chilling around the house. But yeah, I just thought maybe if I wear this, I will look like I've got my life together. Don't know, <laughs> maybe not. And that's that. Next up, I'm really, really sorry, it's another coat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking with buying coats. I don't know what I'm thinking. But, in my defence, yes, this is a teddy coat, but it's a short one, it's not a long one, and I don't have one in grey, so I don't have a coat like this, that's why I got it. It's a size, da -da -da, size 10. The inside of it is almost like this faux kind of sheepskin material, which makes it look much more expensive than it actually is. Um, so yeah, this is a UK size 10 Chunky Borg Aviator coat. It's got this really, really nice, um, where's it gone here? Uh, buckle detailing round on the sleeves, which just adds just a little bit of something. So it's not so plain. It's not just a boring old coat. And yeah, I thought, Wearing this, I thought over my white bodysuit, maybe some black jeans or some mom jeans, it would keep me really, really warm. Um, and just, you know, for daytime, just stick it. You just want something warm to shove on. I thought this would do the job. And as I said, I don't own a grey teddy coat, so that's how I justified it to myself. And what's it say on the tag? I'm super cute, but also delicate. Just like me. So yeah. Oh, it has also got big nice pockets at the front so if you're like me and don't 
wear gloves, don't own a pair of gloves, don't need a pair of gloves. And that is that one. I promise I'm not going to show you any more teddy coats, Borg jackets. No more, I'm done. So next up, I want to show you this white shirt dress. So I got this true to size, size eight. It's like a sort of, um, it's got sort of like a pleated. Let me, uh, let me just show it you. So yeah, really nice white shirt dress. Love the length of this. I have quite, I'm quite long <laughs> and I have quite long legs. The problem with that is that whenever I wear anything, I look like, basically everything looks too short on me all the time because my legs are so long. But this doesn't, this is actually a really good length on me. Um, I really like shirt dresses. I like wearing them for sort of nights out. I just feel a bit more, I'm not the sort of person, you know, you'll, you'll never ever see me wearing like a strappy bodycon dress. I'm not that person. I don't have the biggest of boobs. I'm not the curviest of people. I'm quite straight up and down. I'm a bit like a bean pole. Um, and a shirt dress just makes me feel, I'd say it makes me feel really, really feminine and really nice. I, it's really weird. I feel the most comfortable when I wear quite masculine fitting clothes. I feel like that suits me more than trying to wear a skin tight sort of bodycon, you know, sort of shapey, outfit because it just does nothing on me so it's just not me whereas shirt dresses blazer dresses that sort of thing that's a lot more me it's kind of got a bit of a pleated waist so it almost nips you in so rather than just looking like you've put on your dad's shirt it actually nips you in at the waist as well so for people like me that perhaps don't naturally have quite a you know curvy figure it does give you that waist and gives you that bit of a curve um so yeah i'd wear this on a night out Barely their heels, little bag. But the real reason I bought this was to actually wear underneath the camel jumper that you saw earlier. So I will show it you sort of on its own, as you know, most people would probably buy it for. Um, but I'll show you how I sort of envisioned it with the jumper and the um, hat. I just thought for daytime, if you want to make an effort. Um, still be warm it's a really nice piece to throw on underneath um, a normal jumper and I don't know you might day drinks might turn to night drinks pull your jumper off you're good to go underneath so yeah that's the shirt dress next up we have some more jeans now you're probably not you're actually probably not gonna be able to see this on camera they are covered in grey fluff from the teddy coat so I wore these um, to try on with the grey teddy coat because that's the kind of outfit I had in mind um, and because the teddy coat is so new a lot of the fur just kind of shed onto these jeans so if you can see it on camera sorry they probably look really dusty and weird but they're not it's just that um, fur but yeah these are just some very very plain black um, mom jeans size 8 really really good to have as i said i do tend to go for more of a mom jean in winter if i'm not wearing a leather look kind of uh, skinny trousers i prefer wearing a mom jean this time of year and i realized that i didn't actually have any plain black mom jeans but i thought these would look really nice with the white basic top i thought they'd look really nice with the jumper just tucked in and there's so many ways you can style black mom jeans i think everyone needs a really good staple pair in their wardrobe um, and as i said misguided at the moment they're killing it with their quality there was a period of time where i kind of went off shopping on misguided i don't know why it just the selection on there just didn't seem to be as good as it had in the past and i found myself on sort of pretty little thing a lot more but recently i've really just found myself going back to misguided because the quality is so good I haven't had an item from there, like in this haul, that I've thought, meh, maybe not, but I've been really, really happy with it. So yeah, these are the black mom jeans and I'm, I'm really happy with them. I'm really glad I got them. I know they're going to make up so many outfits because you can just put anything with them, like jumpers, t-shirts, bodysuits. You can even dress them up if you wore a really nice bodysuit or a really nice blazer and some barely their heels you could even wear them for a night out as well um or just to go for drinks so they're not just limited to you know daytime you can easily just dress them up as well okay so last one i know this might be a bit of a love hate i don't 
I feel like some people really don't like these styles of jackets well coats so this is like a faux leather trench coat now i love a trench coat absolutely love a trench coat i've got my camel trench coat that i live in um but more recently i just found myself really really being drawn to these kind of leather looking trenches um, because they are leather as well not real leather faux leather only um they are a lot warmer than a normal trench coat so if you are finding yourself sort of putting your trench coat to the back of the wardrobe now because it is getting a lot colder honestly i really recommend upgrading it to a leather trench coat i'm so so happy with this i thought imagine wearing this the nice big scarf black jumper the blue mom jeans i think would look really really nice contrasting with this jacket i'm not gonna lie i do kind of feel a bit like the matrix when i wear it but in the best possible way i mean is there a bad way to feel like the matrix i don't know i'm so so happy i got this uh this is in a size 10 i bought this because i thought if i want to put a hoodie on underneath as i do with my other trench coat at least then i know it will fit so yeah i think nice gray hoodie or black hoodie underneath this looks really really nice it's got a really nice belted waist as well which i'm really happy about so you can you know cinch yourself in at the waist give yourself a bit give yourself give yourself a bit of shape rather than let it just hang on you and for someone like me who as i said i'm a bean pole i am literally straight up and down very little curvature going on it's fine i'm over it these coats are perfect because they give you that kind of cinched in waist but yeah i'm really happy with this i thought really really nice coat to have don't have anything else like it um so yeah that is my trench coat and that's everything um, i really hope you like that haul and i hope you kind of like the outfit ideas that i gave you as i said i didn't want to just show you item after item um and then leave it at that i wanted to show you you know the kind of outfit ideas i had in mind so that hopefully it gives you a, you know a little bit of outfit inspiration so yeah uh, let me know what your favorite piece was from there or your favorite outfit um, let me know if there's anything you didn't like. I always want to hear what you didn't like as well as what you did like. Um, I know some pieces might look a bit good and then you put them on and it looks completely different. So that's why I like I like trying them on for you. I like showing you different outfits just so it gives you that, you know, gives you my vision. I have a vision with these outfits, okay? Trust the vision. Any videos that you want to see from me, anything at all, just write a comment below let me know please like this video subscribe follow me on instagram comment like do all the good stuff um and then yeah i'll reply to all my comments so any suggestions it's all very very much appreciated and yeah i'll see you in the next one bye kind of warm nice I hit myself in the face it's got it's got it's line So I just mentioned the white sort of coat <sighs> and